I see him as a man who promoted a European culture over people of color. I see a man who promoted his economic thirst by expending our people. The whole idea of Columbus discovering America is a myth. You know, I'll never forget my parents. Uh, I think I was in first grade, I went to school, and we learned about Columbus. And then I came home and they said, what did you learn today? And it was like, oh, well, we learned, you know, Columbus discovered America. And um, my parents very, I, I still kind of, I'm a little shocked, but they basically said, well, Lori, that's what you're going to learn in school, but we have our side of the story, too. And so very first grade, they kind of laid out what happened. And so I remember going back to school the next day and being like, I have something to, you know. But I felt like my teacher didn't know the whole story, and I was you know, going to kind of correct her. And I, I'll never forget her face just kind of fell like, what? <laughs> Who paid him to explore the world and why? The document that he carried to justify his actions for, for the exploitation of indigenous lands was a document called the Papal Bull, which was developed by Europeans in the Catholic Christian faith. This document basically said that any unbelievers or anybody that is not of the Christian faith, that whoever came upon these people, these natural, natural people, these indigenous people, would have the right to the land and resources, as if we were not entities, as, as if we were subhuman, a system that favors the conqueror is still evident. And that's literally how it's phrased, is that Columbus discovered America. But if you think about that, you can't discover something that people are already living on or, you know, that have known for, like, a discovery isn't like, oh, hey, I just discovered this pencil. It doesn't work like that. The word discovery, discovered America, that phrase, the whole way we use it, I think is messed up it's flawed and i think we're transforming the energy of it to not celebrate this kind of shallow and uneducated version of it but to transform it into educating ourselves about what it really means and celebrating our culture our heritage and our traditions in school they're having like history month and of october's i guess history month and they're ask, asking that parents you know give a background of their family history and it's really encouraging to me because, you know, my family was born and raised here and it's actually empowering me to, like, really get them involved in our culture. It's motivated me to do sort of the opposite. Instead of celebrating his history, you know, Columbus Day, celebrate our history. Goal represents itself in many, in many ways. Like right now in the state of New Mexico, the current exploration and um, of uranium that's the new goal the water rights that we are facing now as indian people specifically the navajo people is the ultimate goal columbus representing the, the various tea companies the various spices companies it's the same today as the uranium companies i mean it's the same today as the coal mining companies, the oil companies, the corporations. There's no difference. It's just a, it's the mentality and the attitude is still the same to exploit. Well, you know, somebody my age and my color grew up steeped in the concept of Columbus Day. You know, it was maybe 20 years ago or thereabouts that I began to get another perspective hearing all the time about the ocean blue and 1492 and so on, Columbus. So I think what we need to do is to come up with a new rhyme that tells us the truth.
I think the celebration of Columbus Day is is incorrect. I think that we all celebrate it from a, a blind idea, um, an ideology that's uh, meant to celebrate something that really should not be celebrated. It's something that should not be put as a her heroic story as opposed to one of the mistakes of mankind. The slaughter of the Azteca, the Mexica, and tons, hundreds of indigenous Native American tribes is not something to celebrate. You know, in fact, Columbus Day gives us more motivation to live and survive. Not because of he's a great man, it's because we refuse that attitude and mentality that one man is greater than another. When you talk about Columbus Day amongst your Pueblo or your people or whatever, it's almost like people just scoff and like, whatever, and they just don't even want to go there in a very real way. And, and I understand that, um, but it, it is important to sit down and articulate and remember what is that actual history. And because a lot of times our younger people don't know what our real position is on some of this stuff. So I think one is to really remember and to articulate some of that thinking and thought process to our young people. And we, we've actually done a lot of prayers out at the petroglyphs on, um, on that day. And, and less about you know Columbus Day, but much more about indigenous resistance was kind of how we phrased it and chose to think about it. I mean, if our ancestors didn't resist all that stuff that uh, happened, we would not be here in the way that we're here today. And so that's the reason to do those prayers is to think about all the struggles that they went through and in order that we get to live our lives today.